who is smarter than a fifth grader. I think you are going to enjoy this special. What's my name? Hello, hello. Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader Today? I am your host with the most swag. The most swag, that's my name. I just, it's what it is. Now today we have two very, very cool contestants. One guy, it might be the coolest dude on the planet. The other guy, he, he's decently cool. Uh, his swag level is like out of two out of a hundred, but it's okay, we're gonna teach him. But our first contestant today, he is the opposite of Les. His head is the size of a cocoa pebble. <gasps> he likes to eat his cereal with orange juice. Huh? No money. The champ is here. Now, before we get started today, um, I need you to let everybody know, let the crowd know, how do you feel about getting these questions right, wrong? I mean, you did pass the elementary school. Yeah, I passed it great. Yeah, no big deal. So how do you feel? I feel like I could easily outsmart fit man. I mean, come on. I do this. <laughs> this is what I do. You know, I do this wherever, you know? This is this is how I do this, and it's done because I do this and I can do this anytime. Okay. So that's how I feel. You know how I feel? You're done. <laughs> now, to the questions we go. How many cups are in 28 fluid ounces? 3.5, 7, or 14? You know, <laughs> we cover. I think I covered this actually in second grade because I was so advanced. So I'm pretty sure I could just, you know, Jimmy Neutron, that's so Raven just dig that up from old memory and just get the, the, the right answer to that question. So what's the answer? It's 14. Sir, I'm sorry, but the answer is 3.5. Well, are you sure? I'm super sure. <laughs> you wanna check that again? I'm checking it right now. Uh. Oh, yeah, 14 divided by... No, no, you're done. You're done. <clears throat> Between 1455 and 1485, the War of the Roses took place in what country? France, Germany, or England? <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me give you guys a fun fact today. Oh, God. Okay. France and the language that they speak there, which is French. Oh, really? which is actually a romance language. So, I'll have to give that one, you know, with the Battle of the Roses to France. Okay. You see, teaching y'all stuff over here, historical <laughs> facts. <laughs> that was a uh, good try. But the answer to that question, not the question to that answer, is England. England? Yes, England. What? I Do they have any explanation for this? That makes no sense. I didn't even know there was a Battle of the Roses. I think, I think they need to, Give me the right answer, which is France. That's but, the, that's the okay. Wrong wow. The classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, The Real Princess, is better known as The Princess and the What? Frog. You don't want to hear the other. Oh, yeah, let me hear the other ones. But, you know. Ride, pee, or frog? It's the Princess and the Frog. Come on. Boy. No, that's <laughs> um it is princess and the pea. Wait, 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 whoa, what's the question? The classic Hans Christian Anderson fairy tale. What's the Hans? That's his name. The classic Hans, my man Hans, yo. That is not a name. It is Hans. Han Solo. From but Star Wars. But now with the S is Han. Hans, my Hans. man Han Solo from Star Wars. You are slate. If you don't know that, I knew that. Princess and the yeah, P. Alright. Came out in. I've never in heard of a princess and a P. 17. What's the what's P? What's the P? It's the, the vegetable, the green one. So, what's a princess gonna do with a vegetable? I think it was the one where they put it under the mattress and then they sleep on top of the mattress and it didn't. Pr Isn't that Jack and the Beanstalk? Bruh. No, Jack and the Beanstalk was. <clears throat> Next question. Which word contains a long vowel sound in the following sentence? Dogs like tennis balls. 
dogs <laughs> like or tennis? Wait, what? Which uh, fo- which word contains a long vowel sound in the following sentence? Dogs like tennis balls. Dogs <laughs> like or tennis? Dogs. It's dogs. It's definitely dogs. Think about it. Dogs. What's good, my dog? But people dog. be like this. Dog. Like. like. Yeah, people like, I be like, no, I said like. People, people say, say like. People say tennis. People don't say tennis. <laughs> tennis. Uh, no, I said like. People say like, but no, I said like. People say, definitely say my dog. So, what's your answer? Dog. It's like. No, it's not. Yo, that's some, <laughs> that's some BS. Who wrote these questions down? Fifth Who? graders. Man. Well, you might, might be smarter than a second grader. That's about it. Mount Vernon, Bunker Hill, or Valley Forge? Forge. I've been, I know this drink because I went there for a field trip in like oh, seventh wow. grade. Yes. So the answer is definitely Mount Vernon, boy. George Washington has a house there. Wait, 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 wait. What's the question? Mount Vernon is where he lived. Valley Forge is in fact where he was with his army. I would like... To go with Valley Forge for 500. It is Valley Forge. Yeti! I, you see? You see? You got about two you questions see? right. It's all good though, but it's the fact that I got some right. That's what matters. You can't look at all the failed attempts. You got to look at the the right attempts. That's how you got to look at it. That's how you look at it. Then. You know what I'm saying? All right. How many Congre... Conjurance, 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 conjurance. My host can't even read. Basic. What you mean? <laughs> I have an accent. You don't hear my accent? I didn't know not being able to pronounce a word was an accent. But I, I got an accent. Know. That's why I said it like that. You do what you got to do. So by definition, a prism is a solid figure that has how many conjurance? See the accent? Basics. Four, two, or six. It's a prism for shizzle. That means-ism, that it is-ism, foes-ism. So I like foe for 400,000. <laughs> well, you lost all your money, cuz. <laughs> it is two. <laughs> Wait. I don't even know what a person is. Doesn't our host, shouldn't our host for not knowing these questions get penalized too? Why do I gotta be the ones that got, I got the answers that, in front of me. that gets penalized? Come on, man. I'm chilling. I got answers right here. I'm chilling. Man, this is, this is, man, this is not fit, who wants to be smarter than fifth grade. This is who wants to be smarter than, than uh, a doctor that just graduated from Harvard with their master's and PhD, man. Forget this mess. Uh, but a doctor wouldn't need to know what a prism is. <sighs> Hello, my friends. It is your host, T'Challa of Wakanda. Today we are going to be testing the drizzle of the dress. Who is smarter than a fifth grader? I think you are going to enjoy this special. Uh, now, uh, our host or our interviewee that we are going to introduce today, uh, he hails from the place of the bobsledders. Respect! Where they bobsled on top of a mountain with no snow. Uh, he is also presented by United Retired Soccer Players Academy because he is a retired soccer player. And he also goes by the name Dre Dry. How y'all doing today? Um, by the way, I just want to say a couple things before we get started. Shout out to my moms if I win this. New crib, I'm on the way. Two, I just want to say the first host. That dude was probably one of the coolest dudes. Like, I don't know who he was, but host number one was... Anyways, let's go ahead and start this out. In 1820... Uh, let us start it from the beginning. Okay, okay, okay. I had to, I had to talk the right way as a host, right? In 1821, Moses and Stephen Austin received 18,000 acres from the land in what would become what U.S. state? We have Utah... Texas, Oklahoma. Texas, Utah, or, uh, I'm sorry, your Wakandian, Wakandian accent is kind of thick. Uh, oh. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, okay. Um, well, I believe, since my geography, geography, goodness, geography. geography. I'm tripping right now. I'm 
excuse me. But yes, my geography knowledge is really good. I believe it's Oklahoma. Big space, enough space to Moses to do his thing, whatever that might be. It is Texas, you are wrong. Your geography is nuts on point, brother. I'm tripping already, it's all good though. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Remember that, write that down your... Uh... Next question. Which of the following is a homophone for the word wife? Do not ask me what homophone means because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead, homophone. It's not like Verizon right now, okay, could continue. Answer the question. You didn't give me the answers. One. Now lost. One now lost. Yes. Usually when the homophones come as the third word in the sentence, um, it reflects on the uh, vowels and the nouns of uh, the present tense. So in this aspect of the definition of the, th the thesaurus and the dictionary, the answer is one. Ah, congratulations! I told you! Congratulations, you have gotten your first question correct. Mm -hmm. Mexico is bordered on the south by Belize in what other Central American country? Mexico? Okay. Honduras, Guatemala, or Nicaragua? Okay. Belize. Guatemala. You are correct! I told you! I told you! This is too easy for me. This is too easy for me. In fifth grade, my final exam was, what is the border of Mexico's Belize? And I told him it was Guatemala. A previous contestant got very hard questions. <laughs> Which of the following is the scientific term for an organism that makes its food from inorganic materials? Autotroph, heterotroph, embryotroph. <laughs> okay, this is a good one too. Auto trove, that's, they drive cars. The last one that you said it was trove. Heterotroph? Yeah, 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 heterotrophs. Hey! Oh man! I, the answer is auto trove, they are driving uh, the driving auto the, Oh yeah, you got, you know, Beamer Benz, Bentley Audio Troves. I pray the, the ancestors make sure you get this one <laughs> wrong. I mean, right. I may need to go back to school. <laughs> what is the correct spelling for a system built to carry water? Aqueduct, aqueduct, <laughs> oh, <laughs> aqueduct. He said aqueduct, aqueduct, or aqueduct. He said the same word three times. Aqueduct. There is a A, A C U A D U C T. There is a B. A G U A D U C T. There's a C A Q U E D U C T. A A A. I don't know, man. A Q U E D U C T. Aqueduct. A C U A C U Q E D U C T. A Q U E D U C T. Yeah. That is also correct. <laughs> yes. I can spell. I can do math. I know how to uh, speak English. Boy, I might be in the sixth grade. I might have skipped sixth grade by this rate. Man, this is too easy. All right, what's my word, yo? As a, are you smarter than the fifth grade tri uh, trope? <laughs> Can't <even> speak. <clears throat> As a, uh, are you smarter than the fifth grade winner? My trophy. I'd like to thank my mother for sending me to the best schools in America which uh, was uh, Mill Creek Elementary School, where I passed with flying colors. <laughs> then I ended up going to Shady Grove Middle School, which was the greatest middle school in the land. Then I went to Magruder High School, greatest high school of all time. So shout out to all my schools, my moms, my dad, my sister. Shout out to the first host. That dude was so swaggy. I'm trying to be just like him when I get older. Um, he's really cool. And also shout out to you guys for watching. Make sure you guys do smash that thumbs up button since I won. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. And down below in the comment section, let us know what's next. Do you guys want to see another Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? You know I'll win this. That is untrue. <laughs> but if you guys have any other ideas what we should do, make sure down below let us know any cool ideas. You want to say something, Mr. Wakanda? Ah, uh, the is back.
We did not take a good win for Wakanda. But in Wakanda, we do not have a fifth grade. We go straight to college. <laughs> we go straight to college, so therefore, I don't need to be smarter than a fifth grader. I just need to be smart like a Wakandian. Good day. Like and subscribe. City Gooses. <laughs> yeah, you better know what a prism is if you're a doctor. <laughs> you better know. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, you better know everything. <laughs>